Hello and welcome back to Hidden Gems, the show where we profile some of world football's hottest young talents. And today, episode 20, we're going to be profiling Crystal Palace and England centre-half Mark Gurhey. Now, the number six this kind of follows on from last week's Hidden Gems, where yeah. we looked at Tyreek Mitchell. Um, obviously, we mentioned briefly Mark Gurhey in that, and the fact that they have a good partnership in the back four with, um, with a multitude of other players um but yeah Gerhi of course he made his debut against Switzerland for England, uh, for England. his England game yeah, debut against debut. Switzerland um, whereas Mitchell made his against uh, Ivory Coast so yeah Gerhi got his debut first and uh, he's younger Mark Gerhi just 21 years old and of course he plays centre back and not left back so there are a lot of differences his, their stats are quite similar though and do you want to give me some of those stats Harry this campaign Gerhi has played 28 matches so only one he's only missed one game this season mm. And that's one less than Mitchell. But, however, he has scored two goals, which I both believe were from set pieces. No assists, which is as expected from a centre-back, yeah. but with a 7.03 average foot mob rating. Just want to point out quickly, if I remember rightly, that one game he missed, that was a 3-0 loss to Tottenham. I think it was, it was yes. Tomkins Anderson in the defence that day. and John Ward, they, No, I, I, I don't think he was there. Oh, wait, no, he would have been playing right back, oh, yeah. Right. And Mitchell, actually, Mac Mitchell played well in that game, and the defenders, the centre-halves didn't, so maybe if they, well, if they had Gerhi, they would have kept a clean sheet. It does that he's missed one game, and, and in that game they lost three. It was three now. And speaking of clean yeah. sheets, he has got eight this season. Well, Palace have, he doesn't personally. But he's been, he's been, a, he's he's been massive a massive influence. Yeah, he's been vital in defense. keeping those so, you know, clean sheets. Eight clean sheets out of the 28 games that he's been played. Yeah, that's great. In terms of future clubs, um, of course, he has already played. For, well, he, hasn't, he never played for Chelsea, but he was at Chelsea. I think it was odd from them to allow him to leave on to to just to leave on a permanent. For 20 yeah. mil, because they, I mean, they loaned out Gallagher, they loaned out Breuer. They loaned out Gilmore, but they let Gerhi go permanently. I do think that has something to do with Levy Colwell, because Colwell is a brilliant centre half. Yeah. Um, we'll probably do a, a hidden gems on him at some point, but he won't be next because no. that'll be too many prone players in a row. But um, yeah, Colwell is a is a quality player. And I think that is the big reason why Gerhi is was let go by Chelsea. Yeah. Terms of places, Gerhi. Twenty mil though, really good value for Palace. Yeah. And as we as we said in the last one, Gerhi very much uh, in the Mitchell one, Gerhi could very much go to a bigger club. I mean, Palace are I with the young yeah, talent around them. I do think it's the same club. Be good. Said for Mitchell, does you know, an Arsenal, a United, a West Ham. I, I think a Liverpool could suit him. Yeah, Liverpool could do with a centre half that can perfectly Van partner Van, Van Dijk so or replace him eventually. And the twenty-one year old would do a good job of that. I think Chelsea might. Decide they've made a mistake and they might bring him back, especially if they buy him back for yeah, double the price or triple, probably. Um, and, and then sell, sell Colwell the other way for 10 mil and then buy him back a few years later. Uh, but yeah, I do I do think uh, he, uh, he will play for a big club. Palace, though, if they can keep their young talents, all of them there and they develop together, they could become a big club. Yeah. Because I think I think they're probably a centre back, a right back, and a centre mid away from being a very decent side. Yeah. That they could, I think they could also do with a uh, with a striker. Yeah, although I can, you know, oh, I they, they, I they got um, what's his face? Edward. Edward, exactly. Yeah. So they're probably fine then. So it's actually a really good Palace I do think side. Next season, Palace can be a very strong side. Vieira become Gallagher. Vieira's going to become a bigger, better coach. They yeah. might be able to get Gallagher on a permanent. If. They pay yeah, enough. Really Chelsea well. might make the mistake of doing that. Yeah, Vieira's done decently. I mean, and 13th, first season of yeah. Prem football for Vieira, first season of Prem football for Gerhi, for Mitchell, yeah. for Elise, uh, for Gallagher. Yeah. So, oh, sorry, no, not for Gallagher. He played West Brom last season, but he was a bit meh. But, yeah, Gerhi done well. Palace done well. That's about everything. If you haven't enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, a comment down below your thoughts on Mark Gerhi, where he should end up, all that stuff, and Palace in general, if you want. And like um, for the Mitchell one, Comment down below whether he should be in the England squad yes. for the Qatar World Should he be in the England squad? Because uh, I'm not going to tell you, but maybe I've left it in the comment section down below, so go and check that out. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.